guys, it's DT. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we are looking at the brand new Mr. Freeze premium format figure from Sideshow Collectibles. This is the exclusive version. They made 500 of these. This is number 295. I actually have a bunch of boxes that came in recently, including the Scarecrow from this line. I just haven't gotten around to opening those up because I've been working on this Wonder Woman video. We did this really funny skit at the beginning of the review, so if you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check it out after this video. But uh, I didn't want to throw too much stuff up on that channel, so we're gonna be opening up this one on this channel today. And I'm also testing out a new camera. I actually bought this camera for some of our other videos on our family channel. Uh, this one is the Canon R5. It's gonna replace my Canon 5D Mark III that I've been using. I usually use a cinema video camera for my reviews in the studio, but today I'm trying this camera out. Let me know what you guys think of the image quality. All right, so here's a look at the box. Got Mr. Freeze right here. Nice blue and black color scheme. I see these little white things. I don't know if these are like snowflakes or if they're scratches on the box. They look kind of like they're uh, scuffed but it could just be like a snowflake effect, I guess. That's actually the good side of the box. I saw some damage on the back. Some more snowflakes here on the side. And then we've got Nora here on the back. Kind of creepy, actually. Kind of gives me the ring vibe, the white dress and the black hair. Nora in quotes there. And then uh, we move down to the bottom. Oh, sideshow dot. And then we got uh, some damage here on the box. I do see some of that styrofoam in there. Got a little dented. Hopefully everything inside the box is okay. So let's open it up and check it out. This camera has been kind of notorious for overheating. So hopefully it doesn't do that in the middle of this video. So thanks to you guys that demanded DC statues, I am now collecting a bunch of Batman rogues, amongst other things like the uh, XM Studios Batman Samurai series. Like I said, I have Scarecrow, I have a bunch of different Banes coming, a couple Poison Ivies, so all you Batman fans should be pleased. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna open this up and uh, see what we get here. Voila, looks pretty cool. All right, let's get this unwrapped. All right, guys, and here's what you get. We've got uh, Nora here, we've got a couple glass domes, a couple hands, Mr. Freeze's body, a single portrait, the base, and uh, looks like his gun and some tubing. All right, so first let's take a look here at the base. He's got like a snowy base with all these uh, ice crystals. Here's a look at the bottom. Sideshow Mr. Freeze, DC Comics. Then over here we've got uh, Batman's cape, looking pretty tattered, and it's clinging on to this giant ice crystal. I think the crystals look really nice. Kind of got this uh, metal grid on the bottom where he's standing. We can see a little bit of uh, snow around the edges and a big uh, melted spot where he stands. His other foot will be standing right here on the cape. Now the snow itself, it's pretty white. There is some blue in there and a very small hint of gray. Sort of looks like a cool marshmallow. It's, it's different than the other snow that I've seen on some of the other sideshow pieces like Sabretooth and Jean Grey and Cyclops. All the snow has kind of been different. Some a little bit more puffy looking than others. I think snow is kind of hard to produce in solid form. Let's take a look at Freeze's body here. All right, and here it is. It's got some good weight to it. Of course, his head's gonna key in right there. We've got also the area where the dome is going to rest. Goes down pretty deep. We've got all his armor, all the little tubing going into his suit. Of course, Mr. Freeze, he needs to stay cold in order to survive. We've got some nice paint on his thighs. And he is pretty heavy, actually. Uh, my arm is getting a little tired. I did uh, work out today. My arm is a little fatigued. And holding this guy up to the camera is actually a little bit straining on my arm. And then he's got the same matching paint on these awesome boots. Very nicely detailed there. He's got keys on both of his feet, one with a big peg, but even the underside of his shoes are very detailed, even though I don't even think we can see them. Quick look at Freeze. We'll see him when he's all put together. Here's a look at his portrait. 
Those are some really cool specs he's got on. There's actually a black light effect. Uh, I've got my black light, we'll show you that in a bit. It's got the strap that goes all the way around, buckle on the back. Here's a look at his left hand. So there aren't any switch outs with this piece. The exclusive is actually Nora. We only get one of each hand, but he's got the left hand here in a fist. So right here we've got some tubes, sort of looks like a stethoscope. Then we've got the uh, right hand holding the freeze gun. So here's my hand right here, it's pretty big. It's got the little handle up on top. Some more of that uh, triple tubing that runs around to the front. There's a slight indentation at the front of the barrel. It doesn't appear to go very deep. Maybe if they painted it black in there, it would have given it a little bit more depth. Pretty awesome little gun there. We also get a little Batarang. Finally, for the exclusive, uh, we get this uh, little statue of Nora. And of course, she is the reason Mr. Freeze is Mr. Freeze. If you guys don't know the story, Nora is the love of his life. She got stricken with a deadly disease and he decided to freeze her until they could find a cure. Of course, this was considered unethical to cryogenically freeze a human. So he got raided and basically uh, they destroyed his lab and that's how he became Mr. Freeze. And now he needs this special suit to keep him cool in order to live. And then uh, on the bottom, we've got Nora. And then we've got the glass dome. We've got a large one for Mr. Freeze. This is about how thick it is. I'm getting an overheating warning on my camera right now. That's kind of not good. We've been recording about 20 minutes and it's, uh, it's saying it's overheating. So uh, I'm gonna hurry up and speed through the rest of this unboxing. But here is the dome for Nora. This goes in like so. There's a little indentation on the bottom to keep it in place. However, uh, it does not go very deep. It might come out with a, a little shaking, so I wouldn't suggest it. And on the side here, there's a little button that we can press to light Nora up. Pretty cool. I'm gonna switch the camera to another angle and let's uh, get this guy put together. Okay, so uh, he just keys in to the base like this. His left hand's gonna attach like this. His right arm keys in like this. Then we've got the portrait. We've got his dome. That one goes down really deep. Then we have the little tube, connects here at the bottom of the gun, and the other one fits on the back of his pack. And then there's a little hole on this icicle, and the batarang just kind of fits in there like that. And then of course, we've got Nora over here, and she's dancing because she likes to dance. All right guys, so I'm gonna get out of here, give you guys a close look at Mr. Freeze. Thank you.
Okay guys, so that was a look at the Mr. Freeze premium format from Sideshow. Really awesome looking statue. Glad to be adding my first Mr. Freeze to the collection. I do really like that Prime 1 Mr. Freeze. That one is one third scale, it's huge, and has a pretty hefty price tag. But I'm glad Sideshow came out with this one, which is a fraction of the cost and a fraction of the size. So much easier to display. He's a pretty big statue, but uh, everything is pretty contained. With him holding his gun out like this, the width as well as the depth is very manageable. Again, let me know what you guys think of the new camera. If it wasn't for that overheating problem, I really like it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this piece in the comments down below. I think the collector's edition is still available on Sideshow right now. The exclusive version is waitlisted. However, if you jump on that, uh, I think you have a good chance of getting that converted. Anyway, stay tuned for more Batman Rogues. I've got the Sideshow Scarecrow waiting in the wings. I'm also going to be continuing my quarter scale X-Men line the 110 scale Transformers line, the XM Studios Batman Samurai line, and uh, some other pieces thrown in there as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also gonna be doing a comic book countdown where I count down my top 100 CGC graded comic books. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.